What you see behind us is Abbey Q Lake. It's a flood control reservoir. Its congressional authorization is for flood control and for sediment storage. And uh, over the years, it is storing some sediment behind the dam. The lake level you see behind me, it's about 6,220 feet above sea level, and it is the highest reservoir in the continental United States for the Army Corps of Engineers. The water you see behind me also is called Trans Mountain Water, which means it came from, it's, and there's some native water which ran off uh, locally, but most of that water is uh, piped in from the, uh, under the Continental Divide, and it, uh, it comes down through two Bureau of Reclamation reservoirs into uh, Abiquiu Lake. Technically, it's about 189,000 acre feet. An acre feet is one acre that's about a foot deep. The water releases downstream are about 85 cubic feet per second CFS. That's a cubic foot. If you can imagine one of those, about 85 of those every second. Not a whole lot of water. We can release as much as uh, 1,800 CFS. That's our channel capacity downstream. Uh, in terms of the allocations, in terms of the water, um, the Corps will make um, uh, flood control operations in times when they do need to make the flood control operations. Uh, we are proprietors of this water. We're not the owners of this water. There's a lot of players that are involved in terms of water management in the Rio Grande Basin. Many, many players. So it's a complex operation in terms of how it does. The water is owned primarily by contractors downstream, uh, including uh, local irrigators, the uh, Merodomos uh, and the Asequias, which is makes um, Abiquiu Lake quite uh, culturally unique. Uh, I don't know of very many uh, core projects in the Army Corps of Engineers that do deal with the Sakias and deal with the Merodomos and uh, irrigation uh, ditches that go back probably to the 17th century, back to the time of the Conquistador. Some of these ditches that, are, that supplied water out of Abiquiu Dam are that old. In terms of recreation, which is a byproduct of the, of the lake being here, it provides a lot of benefits to the community in terms of recreation. People could come here to uh, ski and, and uh, fish and swim, and it creates a, lo a whole lot of management challenges, particularly uh, concerning water safety and trying to keep people safe uh, around the shoreline here.